मेगा गैमेटोजेनेसिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फीमेल गैमेटोफाइट और एम्ब्रियो सेल द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फीमेल गैमेटो फाइट और एम्ब्रियो सेल इज नोन एज मेगा गैमेटोजेनेसिस The process of the formation of a female gametophyte or embryo cell is known as mega gametogenesis. Mega gametogenesis takes place inside the ovule of angiosperm. Let it is the ovule. Let it is the ovule of angiosperm. The central part is nucellus. Covering is integument. टीप नेरो पर्सन इज कॉल्ड माइक्रो पाइल बेसल स्वेलन पार्ट इज कॉल्ड चालाजा इट इज चालाजा इट इज माइक्रो पाइल एंड द स्टॉक ऑफ ओवुल इज नोन एज फ्यूनिटी द इनसाइड इनसाइड ए मैच्योर ओवुल देयर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए हाप्लोइड सेल कॉल्ड मेगास The mature ovule bears a haploid cell called megaspore. Megaspore is haploid. Ovule is diploid. It is ovule. The ovule is diploid. The ovule is the ovule is diploid, but the megaspore is a haploid one. Haploid megaspore on further development germinates inside the ovule to produce a small rudimentary haploid female plant. So female plant is known as female gametophyte or embryo cell. This megaspore uh, inside the ovule germinates to form a small haploid rudimentary female plant that is called embryo cell or female gametophyte. This megaspore germinates to form female gametophyte or embryo embryo cell. The formation of a Uh, embryo cell is known as mega gametogenesis let us discuss mega gametogenesis let it is the megaspore this megaspore this megaspore here represents it is a haploid cell megaspore This megaspore uh, always lies inside the ovule because ovule is indented megasporangium. Ovule is integumented megasporangium, hence it is indented. So inside ovule, megaspore is present. So the megaspore inside the with such so megaspore germinates uh, within the ovule. Megaspore ovule भीतर था कि germination कर. So it is megaspore. The ploidy of a megaspore is haploid. The megaspore only divides by mitosis cell division. So at first, the nucleus of a megaspore divides by mitosis method to form two haploid nucleus. Two haploid nuclei, out of which one moves towards micropylar end. It is micropylar end, and it is micropylar end. It is chalazar end. Megaspore has two ends. One is micropylar end, other one is chalazar end. तो इट इज माइक्रोपैलर एंड इट इज चला जा रहा है तो मेगास्पोर इज हैप्लोइड इट्स हैप्लोइड न्यूक्लियस डिवाइस बाय माइटोसिस सेल डिवीजन टू फॉर्म टू हैप्लोइड न्यूक्लियस वन हैप्लोइड न्यूक्लियस मूव्स टुवर्ड्स माइक्रोपैलर एंड एंड अदर वन अदर वन मूव्स टुवर्ड्स चला जा रहा है ऑन फर्दर डेवलपमेंट Each nucleus further divides twice. First divides to form two haploid nucleus, then further divides to form um, double of double uh, number of nucleus. That means each nucleus, each nucleus in each end divides twice to form four nuclei. In microbiology, four nuclei. In biology. Mm. 
it is megasco. Its nucleus first divides mitotically to form two, two haploid nuclei. One haploid nucleus moves towards mitopolar end, other, my, other one moves towards charadal end. And uh, on further development, each nucleus divides twice to form four haploid nuclei. Four haploid nuclei in mitopolar end, four haploid nuclei in charadal end. Then, on further development, out of four nuclei of microbiota end, three present, one moves towards center. Similarly, out of four nuclei of charadal end, three present, one moves towards center. So the, so the nuclei which move towards center are known as polar nuclei. Or, or their fusion product is known as secondary nucleus. Megaspore has initially one nucleus, so the nucleus first mitotically divides to form two haploid nuclei. One moves towards micropylar end, other moves towards charadal end. Then each nucleus on further development divides twice by mitosis method to form four nuclei, uh, both in micropylar end as well as in charadal end. Micropylar end has four nuclei, charadal end has four nuclei. Among four nuclei of micro micropolar end, three present, one move, moves towards center. Similarly, the among four nuclei of uh, charadal end, three present, one moves towards center. As a result of which, out of eight nuclei of megaspore, three present in micropolar end, three present in charadal end, and two present in center. So two nuclei are called polar nuclei as they move, move from two pools, micropolar pool and charadal. So they are called polar nuclei. When they fuse to form a diploid nucleus, then so the nucleus is called secondary nucleus. The arrangement of nuclei inside the megaspore developing female gametophyte or inside the developing embryo is 3 plus 2 plus 3. 8 nu total 8 nuclei. Then on further development, the 3 nuclei in micropolar end. Organized with the cytoplasm, the three nuclei in micropolar end organized with the cytoplasm to form three cells. Similarly, the three nuclei in charadal end uh, organized to form three cells and the two nuclei in center present three. As a result of which, the megaspore develops to form a seven cell. Eight nucleated structure. This structure is nothing but a rudimentary female plant and it is known as embryo sac or it is known as embryo sac or female gametophyte. Female gametophyte. The megaspore develops to form a seven cell. It is seven cell. Eight. Nucleated female plant, female plant, and is known as female gametophyte or embryo sac. Embryo sac. Megaspore dominates to form a seven cell, eight nucleated small rudimentary plant that is called embryo sac. This development takes place inside the ovule. Megaspore always present inside the megaspore. Always present inside the ovule because ovule is indehiscent megasporangium. Ovule, bitter megaspore, is a bitter thigh, germination, for formation, for female gametophyte by embryo sac. Embryo sac is a small, rudimentary, seven cell, eight nucleated plant. A plant of the female gametophyte or embryo sac. This megaspore, on further development, germinates to form seven cell. Seven cell, eight nucleated plant. This plant is known as embryo sac. Embryo sac or female gametophyte. The process of formation of a female gametophyte is known as mega gametogenesis. Then let us discuss the structure of a typical embryo sac. Structurally, a typical embryo sac is a seven cell eight nucleated 
seven cell eight nucleated plant. Its three cells present towards micropylar end, three cells present towards stellar end, and it is the central cell. It is the central cell. The three cells present towards micropylar end are collectively called egg apparatus. Egg apparatus has one egg, it is the egg or female gamete, and two synergies. Egg apparatus has one egg and two synergies. One egg and two synergies. These are three my these are three cells present towards the other end are called antipodal cells. Antipodal cells. And it is the central cell having two nuclei. It is the central cell having two nuclei. So the nuclei are known as polar nuclei. It is, a cell, it is the central cell. These are egg apparatus having one egg and two synergid cells, and these are antibodal cells. Antibodal cells have no uh, role in fertilization process. Synergid cells, synergid cells play important role uh, for the movement of growth and movement of pollen to, towards embryo set. And egg is the female element which fuses with male element to form dipole. These are two polar nuclei present in central cell. They participate in the formation of endosperm tissue. So uh, it is the structure of a female gametophyte or embryo cell. Embryo cell, embryo cell or female gametophyte is a haploid plant. It is a haploid female plant present inside the diploid ovule. Diploid, it is the diploid ovule inside which a haploid female gametophytic plant is present. This female gametophytic plant is known as embryo cell. Formation of embryo cell is known as mega gametogenesis. 